Right, hello everybody. I hope you had a good weekend. It's Monday, the twenty sixth of April, um, ten twenty two in the UK. We're gonna have a quick technical analysis video here this morning, and then yeah, we'll get on with the day, and I'll keep you updated on TikTok as to what is going on. So, what am I seeing so far this morning? This is Bitcoin USD on the hourly. Remember, in my Patreon, I have a course showing you how to set up charts the same way as I do, and what some of these things mean. We'll get straight into the TA. Um. So what's happened then? Over the weekend, when did this start? This was last week. Over the weekend, we did definitely have another drop somewhere. I can't remember where it was. I said it would range sideways, and I did actually call um, between this zone here, the 47,500 and the 50K, and guess what? It ranged between the 4,700 and the 50K. So we were looking to then break out above or below. We did have a little uh, bear trap there where it looked like it broke down below, but again, this could be a fake out upwards. What we need to see happen is it to gain some support above this i'd like to see it break above that 200 ema as well on the hourly and one thing that is a positive in terms of the hourly is on the total market cap it has managed to get above both the moving averages and it is kind of using the top of the 200 ema now as support and um, i drew this in last week i've extended the lines out this morning as you can see when it broke out the bottom of this wedge it did take a big drop downwards so what we need to look for is it to break above that 200 trillion and get back above this wedge and you start using these lines as support rather than them being resistance. We'll go back to Bitcoin quickly. So the same with Bitcoin. It's got above the 50, 52,500 level and it needs to start using that as support. Break of the 200 and ideally if we can get above the 58k and just, well, we'll probably range between. I think personally what we'll do is maybe come back down to the 50k, test that and then move back up towards the 58k is that what, if that's what that is so this is what this sort of movement i think we'll see down to there and then if some good volume comes in up and out towards the 57k but that could take a few days um with xrp we'll get into that um this is the top of the wedge that i drew a little while ago i'll show you it on kraken i think that's where i had it drawn in if it loads good yeah as you can see it broke out at the bottom of this and that's where we've been currently and if I extend that line out you'll see that that's the same line as what I've got drawn into my XRP chart here uh, we've broken above that now like we broke above uh, had a red engulfing candle bounced off the 200 and came back below so now what I'm looking for with XRP is to gain a bit of momentum and there could kind of be a support level here where we literally are touching right now from these previous few previous highs look around this little zone it's probably more of a uh, little box I'll see if I can draw one in quickly I've not drawn one in for a while probably can't now I've said that where are they where are you where are you right well I'm gonna do that right now then struggling to find it I used to draw some little boxes in um right we'll get away from that anyway but what where I'm looking at is have I just drawn that there I didn't mean to do that what we're looking at is here um between this section and this section really is kind of like a support level i guess we could be using this support and we need to break above that 200 ema and then i'd love a candle close above 132 to really signal some bullish momentum again although really to be properly bullish we need to break above these highs here uh, and look towards maybe even the 149 if we can get any kind of candle closing here we're looking at a good move then we're looking at a good move upwards if we can get especially if we got it one today i mean i don't think we will get one today but what i could see some movement happening um similar to this would be similar to what i've shown you on bitcoin would be like so we're here down test that trend line out from the trend line up for a close between 149 150 some like one somewhere around there and that would be brilliant that would be brilliant and then the next day actually i could see us doing something parabolic if we do that like up here that would be potential but i also could see us go down to the 133 in quite a strong support resistance line and then up out here either way see us going up out here if we do take a positive move uh, on the flip side of that, if we come down and test this support level here and break below, we could be looking. We could be looking down 
towards this 78 cent mark although we had a, a lower a higher low here so we might get no lower than the 96 sort of cent but personally i think we should be trying to move upwards again now uh, i'd also like to see this 50 day cross above the 200 day to give us more bullish confirmation there um you want to know what I've been doing trades-wise? I sold all of my Solana on the weekend and cycled a lot into XRP. Uh, luckily, at some decent prices, around one dollar. Um, we'll see if it breaks down any further than that. But if not, yeah, you've you've seen my predictions. I also would like the altcoin market cap to get above one trillion again. It's had a good correction now, um, and I think it's time that we started to look to move upwards again we need that 50 day to have a bullish crossover above the 200 day and then we could really see some momentum come through into the market that's what i'm looking for to be honest but yeah with that being said i'll be back again later uh hope you enjoy guys uh have a nice day I'll speak to you in a bit